Hi everybody, it's Smith from Fireside Tarot again. I hope everyone is doing well. It's Sunday night. I'm still wide awake. Yeah, I just pounded out like four readings, but you know what? I'd rather sleep in a little bit later in the morning and not make you guys have to wait until Monday evening for your work week top and bottom of the deck. So what the heck? I'm going to give this a shot now. So, okay. Guess what happened over the weekend? The summer solstice happened. It's now officially summer. You know what else? It's now officially cancer season. So, cancer's water sign. For those of you who are new here and haven't seen one of these yet and don't know how they work, I go by the elements. Whatever element the current zodiac season is, goes first. So, water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and around the wheel we go. So, without further ado, just like any other zodiac reading, if it resonates, cool. If it doesn't, it's not your story. Stay through to the end. Check your moon, rising, your Venus sign readings. If you feel so inclined, I'm not going to twist anybody's arm. Do what you want. It's your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. Time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Might play out from the perspective of a cross watcher too. Cross watchers are always welcome here. You can stay through to the end. Watch your own sign if you want. <laughs> you know? It's your journey. Do what you want. Like, share, and subscribe. If you feel so inclined, hit the notification bell if you want to know when I upload again. If you want a personal reading, I'm pretty backed up, but I will get to you, I promise. I've never left anybody hanging. Not ever. So. Where was I? Okay, I'm just going to give all of these guys a quick shuffle. Loosen them up a little bit. Get all the energies flowing. See what we can come up with. It's just a little sneak peek at what might happen during your work week. Well, an average person's work week, but who's average? What's normal? I don't even know what that is. Just being honest with you. My work week starts on Friday and ends on Monday, so that's how that works for me. And my weekend is interrupted by an evening shift on a Wednesday. Anyway, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, what's going on for you? Now that I'm like three minutes in. Seven of Wands and a Nine of Swords. Hmm. Possibly battling some inner demons. Keeping you up at night. That's some wicked energy to be in. The Seven of Wands can also indicate being in control, but coupled with the Nine of Swords, I'm thinking inner demons. Got something on your mind. Top of the deck, bottom of the deck. All right, let's rewind a little bit. Five of Swords in the reverse, Emperor in the reverse. Everything was left scattered. There was pieces all over. You were left vulnerable. Out of control situation. Just couldn't quite get it together. Okay, or keep it together. Fast forward a little bit. Hair fit in the reverse, but the Ace of Pentacles in the upright. So that's not necessarily bad news because a disconnect led you to something more abundant. Something with more potential. Slower going, but with more potential. So is that really bad? I mean... I don't think it's necessarily bad. It probably sucked when it happened, but, you know. Something good came out of it. Mm. And here's where the inner demons and staying up at night part comes in. 
coming up for this week, my water sign friends, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, we have a page of wands in the upright, but a hanging man in the reverse. So the impulse to move forward might possibly be hampered by being hung up on something emotionally. Hmm. I don't even need to clarify this. I'm just going to go straight to the advice. That's what I'm going to do. Hmm. Okay. Star in the reverse and five of pentacles. That sounds like a warning to me. If you do not allow the healing process to begin or to continue or follow through with it, you could find yourself ending up at back out in the cold again. Let's get a little more for you. Two of swords in the reverse and seven pentacles in the upright. There's something you're not seeing. This new thing definitely has potential, but you need to be patient. You need to take the blindfold off. That blindfold is the blindfold of your past. Just because something is taking a little bit longer than you might want it to, doesn't mean it's not going to be worth it in the end. Just take your time with it. It's going to be okay. This has potential. Just don't let yourself get all wrapped up in it. You need to... You need to wrangle in your demons and allow the healing process to happen. Okay? All right. That's what we have for my water sign friends for this week. What about my fire sign friends? That was pretty straightforward. I liked that. Thank you, water sign energy. I appreciate it. All right. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What's going on with you guys this week? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Ten of Swords in the reverse and a Ten of Cups in the uprights. You know what I'm going to say, don't you? That sun's trying to shine. Swords are trying to come out of your back. Happiness is right there. It's right there. You need to let something painful end to find your emotional fulfillment. And you need to be filling your cups with the right things this week because you're one cup away. I mean, the 10 cups are there, but I'm not sure what they're full of. So let's look. All right, rewind a little bit. Knight of Cups and the Devil. Mm, these have a tendency to leave to Ten of Swords moments. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Not necessarily committal. Probably based on something that I'm not going to mention here. If you would like to go into what this could potentially mean further, shoot me an email and we'll talk about it. <clears throat> the Devil card has a huge tendency to indicate very powerful connections of a certain nature that I will not mention here. <clears throat> and the Knight of Cups, not a committal kind of, kind of cup. No, not at all. I think it felt good in the moment. Maybe felt a little bit too good. Maybe got a little bit obsessive. Became a little bit toxic. Moving on, let's hit the fast forward button.
Six of Wands in the reverse, and the Magician. Okay, here we go. This is not a glorious moment at all, was it? But here's the cool part. We're going to get a little bit of clarity on this. You have the ability to turn it around. Because you always have. You have the ability to manifest what you want out of this. So, if you want this to be a sad and depressing thing that you have a hard time pulling yourself out of, okay. If you want to be able to pull yourself out of this and move forward from it and close this cycle out, you can. But it's up to you. It's always been up to you. It's what you manifest out of the situation. Moving on. Hmm. This week, we have the Seven of Swords and the Three of Wands in the reverse. Um, I might need a little bit of clarity on this one, too. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I feel like someone or something might be hanging on to this. And that's why you can't close it out. Someone may be not so honest about intentions. Someone may be still in and out of your life. And not really all up on the up and up. But I think this week you're going to get sick of waiting at the dock. Can I get some clarity on this Six of Wands and Magician, please? For my fire sign brothers and sisters. Two of Pentacles. Trying to maintain balance. Trying to get your bearings. It's about energy flow. It's about infinite connections. Stability. One more. What are you? The Wheel of Fortune. Oh! Well, yes, this explains the magician. It was not a victorious moment, but it's an upward turn of events. Heartbreak with a purpose. That's amazing. This was meant to steer you. That's even more beautiful. But you need to decide what direction you're going in. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Four of Wands reversed and the Emperor reversed. Somebody's still pulling strings. Somebody is still trying to possibly mistake kindness for weakness. Someone's not being honest. I think this week you're slamming the door. And you're saying enough's enough. I'm done. <laughs> I'm not going to let you dictate my happiness. I'm going to manifest what I want out of this. And I'm not waiting. What's the three of wands here for? Why is the three of wands reversed here? Death card reversed. I'm not waiting. We're not spiritually on the level. You're not changing. And I'm not going to let you impede my change. King of Pentacles reversed. 
Eight of Pentacles in the upright. That's even more beautiful. You're just like, you know what? You're not the person I thought you were. You did not present yourself to be what you are. And I'm going to start working on me and putting my energy into things that matter to me. Myself. You're, you're going to be selfish this week, and that's okay. You know why? Because you have to love yourself first. You have to put your energy into you first. You have to make yourself happy first. You have to let the sun shine in your world first. That's okay, fire signs. It's okay. It's okay to be a little bit selfish. There's nothing wrong with that. What's your advice? Two of Wands in the reverse and the Page of Cups in the reverse. If you continue to hold on to the past and do not move forward, you cannot accept or, or give love to anybody. You can't accept a cup or give a cup if you're still hanging on to a cup back here. You gotta let go. You gotta free your hands up. That's how that works. One more. Hmm. The Six of Cups and the Moon. Okay. If you never get an explanation as to why this happened and it never makes sense to you, it's okay. It's okay. Maybe you weren't supposed to. Maybe you're just supposed to take the happy memories with you and accept this for the soul lesson that it was. The Wheel of Fortune indicates a soul lesson, by the way. And just move on. You learned something from it. That's cool. You learned self-worth. If this is the lesson that taught you how to love yourself, it's amazing and that's beautiful. Okay. What do we have from our earth sign, friends? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What do we have? Especially for an old woman with arthritis. I, I know, I'm not even 40 yet, but you know, the arthritis started when I was in my 20s. I'm managing it though. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Five of Pentacles in the Tower. Oh my! It's a wee bit of a game changer, isn't it? Something's shaking up for you this week. Um, I don't know what, if it, I don't know if being left out in the cold was the catalyst or the result. But something catastrophic. I mean, it could be something as simple as the car breaking down, but, but just, just so we're aware. <laughs> it's going to be a week. Let's, let's dig deeper. Rewind a little bit. The King of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. Non-emotional decision-making. Independence. Emotional or financial. Take it how it resonates. made a non-emotional decision in regards to your own self-worth. Okay. Okay. Fast forward. Princess of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. Loving yourself first.
I like it. I'm going to get a clarifier on this Princess of Cups, though. Loving yourself first, or someone seeing you as one hell of a catch. Take it however resonates. All right, this week. Temperance and the Two of Wands. Okay. Hmm. Why is the Princess of Cups here? I think I know where this is going. Short, sweet, and to the point. Why is the Princess of Cups here? Oh my gosh, don't everybody pop out at once. Eight of Cups reversed. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Someone being left out in the cold. Catastrophic game changer. Making the non emotional decision to find your own self worth and be independent. Fast forward. A return. Why is it. Why is the Eight of Pentacles reversed here? Hi. Star reversed, two of pentacles reversed. For those of you who had recently had someone return to your life, who didn't put the work in before, I don't think you quite healed from that, and it caused a little bit of emotional juggling. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Four of Swords. You, though they thought you were a catch, you laid it to rest. I don't think you took the cup. I think you were like, you know what, um, no. You tore my tower down once, I'm not going to let you do it again. I haven't healed from this, I'm not over it yet. And there may have been a little bit of a emotional woohoo, but you laid it to rest. You got through the heartache, you laid it to rest. This week, positive energy is flowing again. The sun is shining. There is rainbows. Why is two of wands here? Ace of cups this week. Now that positive energy is flowing and you're in a better place, your tower is being rebuilt. You're letting go of that one of the past and you're moving forward to something to suit you a little bit better. Earth signs, I'm happy for you. Happy for you. You loved yourself first and you manifested something wonderful. It's amazing. <laughs> Your advice, the Prince of Swords and the Prince of Pentacles. Um, I think this is your advice in, in further dealing with whatever this was. Until they're going to come back honest. With a great big fat apology, I, I wouldn't even deal with it. 
clearly, I mean, they could potentially be stalking you somehow, some way. Maybe, maybe they're, you know, still following you on Instagram because you didn't block them or they're still watching you. So until they come back honest with that great big fat apology, don't even deal with it. And if you do deal with it, have all the knowledge possible before you start dealing with it and take it slow. Emperor reversed, strengthen the upright. Your kindness is not weakness. It is going to take an awful lot of trust in yourself and in your judgment when dealing with this. If you're feeling even a little bit vulnerable, I, w I, would, I would certainly be careful which lions you deal with and make sure it's one that's not going to bite your head off. Or at least attempt to. Oh. We'll go over that in a minute. Ten of Wands reversed, Two of Cups in the upright. Do not carry baggage from old relationships into new ones. A very important piece of advice. What popped out? Six of Cups. And leave your salty memories behind, too. Earth signs. That's what I have for you. Air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It's going well so far, I think. I'd actually get to sleep in a little bit tomorrow. Maybe an extra 15 minutes. It's already after 11 here. It's okay. It's all good. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. King of Wands and the Two of Cups reversed. Two. Uh, maybe a little bit of confrontation. Maybe a little bit of my way or the highway. Possibly leading to a disconnect or an unacknowledged connection. Take it however it resonates. Could be a fire or water sign you're dealing with. Rewind. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Nine of Wands in the reverse. You didn't get your wish. You didn't get your dream come true. There is no big, big brick house with the white picket fence, the pool, the 2.5 kids, the dog. None of that happy jazz. You threw the towel in. Okay. Fair enough. You had nothing left. Fast forward a little. Seven of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. I'm going to get a little bit of clarity on this. I'm sensing options. Maybe a lack of self-work or maybe, I don't know, stop putting, stop putting work into something. Possibly got lazy at work. I'll throw a clarifier on it in a minute. This is getting hazy. All right, this week, Ace of Cups reversed, Three of Cups reversed. Mm. I'm getting it now. Oh. 
possibly not feeling so cheery or so celebratory this week. Maybe your relationship didn't work out. Stopped putting work in. Possibly exercise some options a little bit too soon. All right, let's throw some clarity. Can I get a clarifier on the Seven of Cups, please? Page of Pentacles. Oh, options. Stunning offer. One more. Okay, you want to talk? We'll let you talk. Six of Pentacles. There was options, a stunning offer, some slow moving and abundant. Maybe somebody came in to level the playing field. The page could have been carrying an apology. I don't know. Might have something to do with this confrontation and this disconnect. Why is the Eight of Pentacles reversed here? Possibly someone came in with an apology and you had to weigh your options as to whether this was really leveling the playing field or not. If it was really making things even. Possibly. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Eight of Pentacles reversed. Six of Cups reversed. There was way too many salty memories for you to want to even throw work into this. Put any energy at all into it. I think they may have been a little bit of a dream crusher, and that's why you threw the towel in. Mm -hmm. One more. Nine of Pentacles, yeah. I'm not throwing any energy into this. There's too many salty memories. I'm working on me. I'm worth more than this. Dream crusher. But this week, why is the Ace of Cups reversed here? King of Pentacles reversed. <laughs> you're not taking offers. You're not making offers. It's not even on your radar this week. One more. Hanged man in the reverse. You're still having a little bit of trouble accepting the fate of it. You're still a little bit emotionally hung up on it. Not feeling like going out and celebrating, possibly. Why is three of cups reversed here? Nine of swords. Oh, honey. I want to hug you right now. You don't even feel like you can be friends with this person. You're not celebrating. You're not even hanging out with your friend. You're disconnecting with everybody right now. You're so up in your head about this. One more. Thanks. Four of Swords reversed. You're having a hard time laying it to rest. Very restless energy this week. The flip side of it, you might be going out and having a little bit too much fun for the wrong reasons. Filling cups with the wrong things, possibly. Your advice. Five of Cups in the reverse. Knight of Swords in the reverse. They may still be trying to talk to you. 
they may be still trying to communicate. If so, the only way to really come out of a state of sadness about this is just stop looking down at the spilt cups. Turn around, look at what blessings you have left. And cut communication off with this person. If they're throwing that much negative crap at you, don't let them make you restless. Just don't. Eight of Wands reverse, Knight of Pentacles. Yes. Until they come in with that apology, don't. Just don't even talk to them. Just don't. And don't hold your breath. One more set of advice. The Two of Wands and the Two of Swords. You are the only one who, who really has control over your emotions and your thoughts and your feelings and your path in this situation. You are the one who has to make the decision. Take the blindfold off, see things as they are. To let go and move forward. Air sign friends, this is what I have for you. Don't let this bum you off this week. Okay. You know, I'm going to pull one more. I'm going to pull one more. Because i got to put some sunshine in this. You found your self-worth. You chose you. And that's okay. You chose you. It's okay. The Queen of Cups and the Hermit. There's a beautiful soul in there. There is. You need to go inside. Not too deep, though. Do a little introspection, a little soul searching. And love yourself. Because when you love yourself, other people love you. People are attracted to light. Be the light. Don't stay hung up on it. Okay, friends. It's awfully late on a Sunday night. It's almost Monday. This has been your work week, top and bottom of the deck reading. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for hanging out. Be blessed this week. Remember to love yourself first and foremost. Okay? Love you guys to bits! And I'll catch you guys on like Friday for the weekend top and bottom of the decorating. Catch you later!